politicians are known for making grand promises before coming to power, with their words flowing like sweet honey, enticing the public with visions of economic transformation, upliftment of the downtrodden, and a brighter future. However, the reality is that in most cases, these promises remain unfulfilled once leaders ascend to the throne. Across the globe, the answer to whether leaders truly keep their commitments is a resounding few. Yet, in the small West African nation of Burkina Faso, something remarkable is unfolding. President Ibrahim Traore is not just making history, but he is rewriting the rules of governance in Africa. His ambitious plans have sent shockwaves not only through his own nation but across the African continent and beyond. So, what exactly is President Traore up to, and why has it rattled the West to its core? Burkina Faso, often overshadowed by its more prominent neighbors, is emerging as a beacon of progress in Africa. The government is unveiling a series of groundbreaking initiatives that promise to transform the nation, not just plans for change, but blueprints for a revolution that could redefine the future of the continent. One of the most striking steps is the introduction of free healthcare for all Burkinabi citizens. This bold move reflects a fundamental shift in the government's approach to public health, viewing healthcare not as a commodity, but as a fundamental human right. The plan involves deploying mobile clinics to reach every corner of the country, from bustling urban centers to the most remote villages, targeting critical health issues such as breast cancer and cervical cancer screening. While critics argue that this initiative is overly ambitious given the logistical challenges and limited resources, the government remains undeterred. They see this as an investment in human capital, a crucial step towards building a more equitable society. If successful, this program could serve as a model for other African nations grappling with similar healthcare access issues, contributing to improved health outcomes, increased life expectancy, and ultimately, economic growth. But the vision doesn't stop at healthcare. Burkina Faso is also making headlines for its daring foray into nuclear energy. In a continent where power shortages are as common as sunlight, this bold move towards energy independence is seen as a game-changer. By collaborating with Russia's Rosatom, Burkina Faso aims to establish a nuclear power plant, diversifying its energy mix and building a more resilient and sustainable infrastructure. This decision reflects a strategic choice to reduce the country's reliance on imported fossil fuels and provide a stable power supply to support its growing economy. While the challenges of nuclear power, such as high costs and technical expertise, are well known, Burkina Faso is willing to take on these risks in pursuit of energy self-sufficiency. If successful, this move could pave the way for other African nations to explore alternative energy sources, breaking free from cycles of energy dependency and power outages that have long plagued the continent. Notably, Burkina Faso's choice to partner with Russia, a nation that has been increasingly positioning itself as an alternative ally to African countries, sends a strong message. It signals a shift away from traditional Western allies, who have historically maintained a tight grip on African energy and economic policies. This move towards energy self-sufficiency through nuclear power could redefine alliances and economic dependencies across the continent, as African nations assert more control over their resources and destinies. But Burkina Faso's ambitious plans don't stop there. The government is also making significant investments in local infrastructure, particularly in the rail industry. By establishing a factory in Bobo Dialasso to manufacture and lay rail tracks, build train carriages, and process steel scrap, the country aims to reduce its dependency on imports, create jobs, and stimulate local economic activity. This initiative represents more than just an effort to improve transportation, it is a strategic move to drive economic growth from within. Efficient transport networks are crucial for trade, commerce, and the overall economic integration of the country. By improving these networks, Burkina Faso is positioning itself as a vital hub in the region, enhancing connectivity and competitiveness. The vision here is not just national, but regional, as an efficient rail network could link landlocked countries to coastal ports, facilitating trade and fostering economic integration in West Africa. While infrastructure, energy, and healthcare dominate the discussion, another quiet revolution is unfolding in Burkina Faso, one that combines culture, creativity, and economic opportunity. 
The government is actively investing in the revival of craft villages across the country, establishing specialized centers that serve as platforms for artisans to showcase their skills and contribute to the economy. These craft villages are more than just tourist attractions, they are vital components of a diversified economy. By fostering a vibrant craft industry, Burkina Faso is creating new avenues for employment and economic participation especially for women and youth who often dominate the artisanal sector. The initiative also aims to enhance the visibility and marketability of Burkinabi crafts both locally and internationally, providing artisans with access to new markets and opportunities for growth. Moreover, the craft villages serve as important incubators for innovation and creativity. By providing artisans with access to resources, training, and support, the government is fostering a culture of innovation that can drive broader economic development. Burkina Faso's comprehensive approach, encompassing healthcare, energy, infrastructure, and cultural revitalization, is what makes its current trajectory so compelling and so threatening to traditional power structures. The government's strategic investments in these areas reflect a holistic vision for the country's development, one that prioritizes the well-being and empowerment of the Burkinabi people. While the challenges are undoubtedly formidable, the government's unwavering commitment to fulfilling its promises sets it apart from the vast majority of leaders who have come and gone, leaving behind a trail of unfulfilled pledges. Burkina Faso's bold initiatives have the potential to inspire other African nations to rethink the role of governance and the relationship between the state and its citizens. Burkina Faso is not just making moves, it is strategically positioning itself for a prosperous and sustainable future. The country's ambitious initiatives in healthcare, energy, infrastructure, and culture signal a new era of development, and at the heart of this transformation lies the craft industry. This sector has the potential to become a significant driver of economic growth, contributing to job creation, income generation, and poverty reduction. Burkina Faso's approach to the craft industry is notable for its comprehensiveness and inclusivity. The government is not just focusing on one sector, but is investing across multiple areas to build a more resilient and diversified economy. This holistic approach ensures that the benefits of development are shared widely and equitably, fostering social cohesion and national unity. The Craft Villages Initiative is a prime example of Burkina Faso's strategic vision. By establishing specialized centers across the country, the government is providing a platform for artisans to showcase their skills and contribute to the economy. These craft villages are more than just tourist attractions, they are vital components of a diversified economy, creating new avenues for employment and economic participation, especially for women and youth. The impact of the craft industry extends far beyond job creation. By enhancing the visibility and marketability of Burkinabi crafts both locally and internationally, the government is helping artisans access new markets and opportunities for growth. This not only supports the livelihoods of individual craftspeople but also promotes the preservation and evolution of the country's rich cultural heritage. Moreover, the craft villages serve as important incubators for innovation and creativity. By providing artisans with access to resources, training, and support, the government is fostering a culture of innovation that can drive broader economic development. This synergy between cultural preservation and economic empowerment is a hallmark of Burkina Faso's approach. The success of these initiatives will depend largely on the government's ability to sustain momentum, manage resources efficiently, and navigate the challenges that come with rapid development. If successful, Burkina Faso could emerge as a model for other African nations, demonstrating how a blend of ambition, strategic planning, and commitment to the people can drive meaningful change. Burkina Faso's commitment to self-reliance and sustainable development sets a positive example for other African nations. By taking control of its resources, investing in local industries, and prioritizing the well-being of its citizens, the country is demonstrating that African nations can chart their paths to prosperity without relying on external assistance. This shift towards self-reliance is not just an economic strategy, but a political statement, a rejection of the neo-colonial dependencies that have characterized much of Africa's post-independence history. However, the road ahead will not be without challenges. Burkina Faso must continue to invest in education, 
healthcare, and infrastructure to ensure that the benefits of development are sustained in the long term. The government must also remain vigilant in managing the risks associated with complex projects, ensuring that safety and sustainability remain top priorities. President Traore's leadership is marked by a unique combination of vision, determination, and a deep commitment to his people. Unlike many leaders who talk the talk but fail to walk the walk, Traore is taking tangible steps to transform his nation. His unapologetically bold approach, which challenges the status quo and refuses to be bound by the limitations imposed by history or external expectations, has made him a figure of hope within Burkina Faso and a symbol of what is possible when a leader prioritizes the needs of their people over the interests of the few. As Burkina Faso forges ahead, it carries with it the hopes of a continent eager to chart its course toward prosperity and self-reliance. The country's recent initiatives are not just policies, but examples of the spirit of a nation determined to rise. Burkina Faso is proving that with vision, determination, and a commitment to its people, even the boldest dreams can become a reality. The world should take notice and celebrate this story of success and resilience. Burkina Faso's current course under President Traore is a clear indication that the winds of change are blowing across Africa. The country's bold moves in healthcare, nuclear energy, infrastructure, and cultural revitalization are setting a new standard for what African nations can achieve when they prioritize their people's needs and ambitions over external influences. The future of Africa is in Africa's hands, and leaders like Traore are showing the way forward. Thanks for watching this video till the end. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.